the right honorable speaker sir honorable colleagues i am honorable olubisi margaret kunoti michael member representing the motion north state constituency the motion bridge does not need to construct a bridge to connect Isalialata to Owoje and Nabogunde and reconstruct the damaged Katangua Akonwojo Bridge in Nogomosho North State Constituency. Note that the need to commend is I need to commend His Excellency, the Governor she, Governor Sheimakide, for his results oriented approaches in mitigating the havoc that flood causes on roads and bridges across the state. It is a fact that good road network is the movement of people and goods from one location to another. Easily connect people and promote economic growth. This is why government at all levels invest heavily in the provision of good road networks and rehabilitation of damaged ones. Further note that during the rainy season, the intensity of heavy dampers have damaged the impact on infrastructures. More often than not, it results in the collapse of many roads, bridges, and covered, cutting off. Various communities from one another. Therefore, the state government, as a matter of urgency, needs to put measures in place to ensure that investment made on infrastructure over the years is not down the drain. I wait that the people of four communities in Ogumosho North State constituency, namely Isalialasa, Kowode, and Nabogude, then Katangua and Nakuonjo, have been cut off from several other communities during due to collapse and consequent non existence of the bridge leaking there. Mr. Speaker, sir, honorable colleagues, there's an abandoned road construction project from Isalialasa to Owode and leaking Isaliora and Owode. This project was abruptly terminated at Isalialasa without construction of bridge that will link Owode and Abogunde. Before the commencement of the road construction, these communities were like one with convenient access to one another. Today, as a, as a matter of fact, the people of Owodi and Abogunde have been cut off from Mr. Lalasa and from the only primary health center that serves the communities and other adjoining areas. Basically because it is situated at Alasa community. As a total, as of today, Mr. Speaker, residents of these communities who ordinarily were at a stone throw to another finding it very difficult to access their various neighboring communities. Avoidable debts have been recorded and business trans transactions have been affected. These have been leashed on toad hardship upon the residents and affected many means of livelihood. The further aware that the bridge connecting Katangua Akowonjo to Ajashe between Obumonshan North and Surulere local government has also been damaged. These have continued to set the people of the communities backward in conducting their daily businesses. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is important to take cognizance of the fact that the damaged bridge has been in existence for over 30 years without proper maintenance. As a result, it's carved in due to pressure of use and torrential downpour. These are practically isolated people of Katangua Akuonjo from civilization. With commercial education, quality health care, agricultural production, and other social activities being paralyzed. The condition of the bridge has caused havoc. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the interest of people of Ogumo Shonot State Constituency, Urgent, urgent steps are needed to be taken. Observation. The chairman of the Mushan local government took effort 
to provide quality for the resident. Constructed a makeshift bridge, which temporarily served the pedestrians. That, that makeshift bridge, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Collins, has failed to stand the test of heavy blank pause. And as such as left residents in, in a very difficult situation. Then this results to number one. Commend the chairman of the National Speaker Government for his past efforts, which temporarily is the stress of residents of Katangua, Akuwanjo, occasioned by the damaged bridge. And urge the executive arm of government through the Ministry of Public Works and Transport and other relevant government agencies to immediately set machinery in motion for the construction of the Salana Sawode and Nabugunde Bridge, and so also the construction of Katangua Akuwanjo Damage Bridge. Mr. Speaker, sir, distinguished colleagues, I beg to move. <laughs>